fighting. Your tenant is I'm touching and biting. You're the only one I wanna spend my nights with. So today I'm gonna be playing with the Kylie's Diary Kai Shadow palette, and this is new. This is from her Valentine's Day collection. So we're gonna open it up, and this is it. This is how she looks. And it comes with nine shadows and one blush. So here she is. And I'm also going to use Kylie's brush to go with that came with her Royal Peach palette to apply these shadows. So first I'm going to take what is the shadow? It doesn't even say one, two, three. Okay. I think this is sweet like candy and it's kicking back a whole lot. So we're gonna take that and we're going to apply that in the crease. Not a clown like your last man is baby come over, let's talk about how the world's on your show. And it's kind of like sticking to the cat bondy foundation that I put down as a base. So Kat is really like locking the shadow in place actually. We're gonna take heart eyes and this is going to deepen our look. Oh, this is a really pretty shade. So now, I think I'm gonna go in with like this nice light pinky shade since we're doing like so much pink this light pinky shade right here this is probably heartbreaker this, yeah I'll, I'll say it's heartbreaker my love. My love. don't fuss don't fight. Don't fight. I'm really liking it Now the chunks of glitter in this are kind of like big so I would recommend you guys like spritzing the shade before you put it on if you are afraid of making a mess. So I'm just going to go back in with that brush. I didn't add any extra product. Just going to go back in with it and blend in the colors some more yes anytime it's not too wild with it it's a simple thing like this yeah god told me i was the one for you hmm. yeah i think this is nice really really nice now she doesn't have a highlight shade in here that i would use per se so I'm probably just going to like put a nice neutral highlight up there like um, like the same color as my face powder so because you know we have enough going on up here we're going to tackle these under eyes so I'm just gonna take this random brush that was in like one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes and since Kylie palette has a mirror I'm just gonna use it so I'm taking this end of the brush and I'm gonna go in with the peach shade, the first shade that we put down as our transition shade. Rich in love, come and get this love and truthfully be true to me. No matter how wrong I was, I ain't trying to fight like your last man did. Now I'm going to go into that crease shade. I will be here when it's over. You got me. Don't you dare be mad at me. 
And then, because that's not dark enough, I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette that I absolutely love, and I'm going into that palette and getting that black shade right down at the bottom. It's called Black Truffle. And I'm just going to add that, like, at the corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna put that on my upper lash line as well. Let the wind flow, and cool you down. go down, you go down on me. Let me soothe you now. Yeah, I like that. When I add my lashes, oof, baby, I tell you. So. While we're here in this Huda Beauty palette, I'm going to find myself a nice, you know, brow bone shade, and I'm going in with sandalwood. It's actually gonna tone down that upper area up there. Because I wanted to just, you know, blend in. I don't need anything. I don't need anything dramatic. So, I've already sprayed my face with Fix Plus, put on some lashes. Now, we're going to continue on with the Kylie trend. Um, we're going to put the Kylie minis on the, the lips. This is how they look. Hope you guys can see that. And, hmm, let's see what I'm going to use for this look today. And I think I'm going to go in with Head Over Heels, which is this pinky shade right here. And we're going to first go in with it without a liner to see how it looks. Oh, it's not as bright as I thought. Okay. Mm, not bad at all and I'm gonna take another one this is high maintenance and I'm just gonna add that in the center which doesn't seem to be like a good idea now because it's looking a bit patchy because they're like sticking together I think I'm going to use this one the more pinky one which is first date or is it virginity I think it would be Okay, yeah, I think it'll be first date if you follow directly on the back. I'm in love, don't make a fool of me. I see a little color coming off. Okay. It's not the most pigmented thing in life at all. And I just did like a heavy swirl just now and still just you know going on like a light wash on me so those blushes could use some work and since Kylie hasn't come out with her highlighter yet we're just going to use a different highlighter today and this is by Ben Nye this is their shimmer powder and this is called bronze shimmer I think I'm gonna go in with opal shimmer as well. I'm gonna amp that baby up a little bit. So this is the final look with the Kylie lippy, the eyeshadow, and the blush. Yeah, I think it came out really, really pretty. Her shadows are definitely pigmented, 
They could blend a little bit better, but for the most part, they blend out fairly well, especially with using her brush. Um, when it comes to using some of the shimmer shades, predominantly the one that I used on my lid today, you will need to probably like spritz your brush with Fix Plus or something so you don't have you know too much fallout because there are fairly large chunks of glitter in that shadow and it looks like all the sh all of the shimmer shadows seem to have that same consistency so just be mindful of that the blushes on the other hand it's not as pigmented on deeper skin tones like myself but i think if you are you know fairly light to tan tan and medium skin tone you'll be just fine with it but for deeper skin, skin tones you definitely need a little bit more work but the blushes could be a bit more pigmented but on the flip side you know it prevents you from applying a bit too much so the fact that they are very, very buildable is still a pro in my opinion so overall this palette is a really really nice palette it's very pretty um do you need it no but seeing that it is kylie's first palette with blushes in it you know it's a nice item to have it's not a must have but it's something nice to have especially it makes for a great valentine's day gift or just a gift on the whole so thank you guys so much for watching and until my next video i'll talk to you guys soon bye